Hey you guys, it's your girl Jazzy coming to you with my first ever DIY. So today I'm going to be making a pencil case storage. I'm going to show you how it looks. Um, so this is made out of a binder. Um, it did take um, a few days to make. So this is how the inside looks. I'll be showing you the steps on uh, how to do it. I added some extra fabric on mine, some rhinestones and some little flowers here. I'll show you how the second one looks. So I did this one in a purple fabric, uh, also with some rhinestones. I also lined the interior with some rhinestones so you could get creative with yours. So first I wanna thank all my Instagram followers who follow my account Fashion Diva. So these are all my fashion divas that I color by hand. And if you wanna see some more artwork like this or tutorials and sketches, um, I'll be doing lives also on it. Um, so here's another one. Yeah, stop by, have a look. Also, if you're interested in coloring pages, you can stop by my Etsy shop. So these are some new ones that I came out with recently. So I just added these ones. Okay, so I'm going to go wake up Nippy now. <laughs> Actually, he's already awake. So let's get to it. Good morning, Nippy. How you doing? Did you sleep good? All right. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, everyone. So for this DIY pencil case storage, you'll be needing some sort of uh, thick construction like paper or some sort of uh, thin sturdy plastic so these are going to make the shelves so you'll want to get these about eight and a half by eleven or a standard binder size because these are going to be fitting in the binder next you'll need a glue gun and some kind of thin plastic liner I'm just using a thin plastic drawer liner that I found at my local dollar store. So, um, and you want something that's thin and easy on the hands because you're going to be punching holes along the strip. You're going to need a hole puncher. So what you'll want to do with your plastic strip your two to three inch plastic strip, fold it over in two and just punch holes with your hole puncher. Next, you're going to glue your plastic strip along the backing, leaving the holes open. Once your pencils are inserted, they should look like this. And I'm doing mine on both sides. Here are a few just to give you an example. And my cardboards came in different colors. Okay, so here I added some plastic across uh, with the holes in them so now the pencils are fitted in the holes. I also added some more plastic strip at the top on one side to kind of strengthen it because this part will be turning a lot in the binder. So this is how it should look. Okay guys so I'm so excited this is how the interior is going to look. And there's different levels. So again, my binder was about two inches. So it holds about four of these, but I suggest getting maybe a larger one or depending on the size of your collection or if you're planning to add on to your collection. What are you doing?
After gluing the plastic strip, just be sure to punch three holes to fit now in your binder. And this is how it's going to open. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.